Hey guys, welcome back to another podcast episode. I'm your host. Well Julius. done once again. Uh, I'm here with my boys Lorenzo and Chris. Chris, Christian, Chris. Um, anyway, we are going to be watching <laughs> Colorful the movie. Word up! I know nothing about it. I know nothing either. Does anybody know anything about it? About I could crushing. just read the synopsis. <clears throat> oh my God. That's also very valid, yeah. Upon arriving at the train station of death, an impure soul is granted a second chance at life against his will. Reincarnating into the body of Makoto Kobayashi, a 14-year-old boy who recently committed suicide, the soul is tasked to identify the boy's greatest sin in life within a time, of, time limit of six months. Although it remains reluctant towards continuing life as Makoto, the soul soon begins to notice the complexities of people's emotions and actions. <clears throat> so it's gonna Shit. be it's gonna be uh, a drama for sure. It'll okay, lot, yeah, we're, we're expecting some tears. Um, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, I'm fine. That manly. All hard. right, word up, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's Ab get into abs it. Abs of steel. Oh God. Mmm. Hopefully it's not like this the whole movie. Oh. Oh, I'm hoping it's like this the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> what if the greatest sin? Wait, Lorenzo, I'm pretty sure you said this. What if the greatest sin that he committed was killing himself? It is. Uh, it's gonna yeah. be it. It's it. I, I I hope it's suicide. That'd be funny. What do you mean? That'd be so cliche. It would be funny. <laughs> so far, it was really boring. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit. It's it starts off pretty slow. I was gonna say it's a really fucking distracting having the CGI people walking in the background like that. It just looks so I know, bad. I know. Yeah. It literally looks like it's like an anime is green screened. You asked that again. Oh god. Oh god. That's. Are you an angel? He looks. He just looks disappointed. I know. He's like, fuck. Uh, I can't. Shit. <laughs> he, he didn't do it. Fuck, I lost the bet. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is what I look like? Cringe. <laughs> yeah, imagine being reborn in Japan. Ugh. Oh, I nuts. Too. Um, that's for special vehicles only. Why, why are they going down this road? What do you mean? That is a special vehicle. What makes it special, Lorenzo? Um, it's... Oh, because it's awesome, right? Yeah, that was the right answer. Because <laughs> it's a JDO. <laughs> right. Yeah, see, look, he's driving on the wrong side. Fuck, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. You're gonna crash. Yeah. Why does his brother look so pissed off? Um, because he was gonna get the room <laughs> a after after he died, and now that's not the case. Looks like I'm stuck upstairs. You know the anime is mid-tier when the food doesn't even look that good? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll yeah. skip on that waffle, thanks. It's actually a melon. Oh, okay. Is that a melon? Oops, my bad. It's like, uh, one of those, uh... It's like melon a honey pan? bun or melon bun. Or See, I don't even know what it is! What? Was he talking? Uh, I don't... It was like, it was like half and half. So he said the dumbass part, but he didn't say the rest. It's not that colorful, is it? It's kind of shit. Yeah. Horse. The horse looks kind of gross, not gonna lie. Okay, so the lesson is uh, you should kill yourself if you're a bad artist. <laughs> if you're a good artist, then yeah, okay, stay alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do what you want if you're a good artist, but if you're bad... Right, exactly. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry to do this. I should have pissed before the podcast, but I really need to take a piss. You want to pause? <laughs> yeah, can we please pause it? All right, I appreciate it. Okay, awesome. I'll be right back. For an 8 a.m. class. Okay, that's fine. Welcome back. How was your piss? Sorry, day? gamers. I'm back. Why do I get keep? Someone keeps fucking calling me. Who? God, I'm not gonna. I don't know. I haven't actually answered. I the just got like five phone calls from them today. No, it's an Edmonton number, but they keep calling me, and I don't really care to answer. Okay, valid. Probably should check if they left a voicemail or not. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's Whatever. not a lot going on now, so if you're gonna check, may as well check now. Uh -huh, I just learned it was work. Not answering. I'm just gonna pretend I'm not at my phone. <laughs> Lorenzo, you've had three shifts this week and you've missed them all. Oh yeah, that's kind of a shitty sound. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't like oh. that. All right, you don't like this music? It's bumping. Not really. <laughs> yeah, not not a fan either. Oh yeah, it's gosh. pretty. Oh. Shit. You know what this reminds me of? What? Yeah. This reminds me of Parasite. Oh fuck yeah! yeah. Right here, oh, this is the scene. Sugar oh. daddy, sugar daddy, sugar daddy, sugar daddy. Oh, that train looks so bad. Not only the train, but the fucking soundtrack for this scene. This shit track. bumps! What do you mean? You gotta be more mysterious. He's basically stalking her. I know, the music does not fit the tone. Holy fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 oh my god, he's just not- he's not caring about the distance. Like, you wouldn't just, like, wait until they turn the corner. Oh, oh isn't yeah. This, like, isn't this, like, technically legal, too? Like... Wait, this, are you like, saying it's illegal or know. legal? No, legal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's legal in Japan, probably. <laughs> I think the age of consent's, like, 14. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, no, don't do that! Don't do it! Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're getting. Man, some... I do not like the soundtrack at all. The soundtrack is so piss. Oh god! And then the music <laughs> coming in. Not... You you know it's a dramatic moment. <laughs> oh god! That's man. so fucking funny. Nice in a holy place. Let's just beat up again. Pretty sacrilegious. Not as bad as when Logan Paul threw Pokemon at uh, at people who are praying or like mm -hmm. what was that clip again where he went to Japan? He like yeah. he like dumped a, fu a fuck ton of money in the wishing well. He uh what you call it? Threw like a fish that he bought on like a uh, on a taxi. Or yeah right. I remember that. Fuck. This this at least this soundtrack should have been used like. Before, why you know why don't they just stick with it and just rock music the entire time? Yeah, like right? now, now that this is here, it's like this is this could have been used like during when he, when he figured out that his crush was like a like into like had, had a sugar daddy or just like any other mo any other sad moment. But nope. Yeah, I feel like this would be a better uh, scene for like rock music, if anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think right? some Don't you have <laughs> other issues, issues to discuss? discuss? <laughs> The, the the big the big uh the big uh sentence where he, where he calls his mom out. <laughs> there goes my hero. Oh, your art's so good. Wow, your art so <laughs> zooms in colorful. <laughs> he rolls the credits. Oh, his porn stash. I was about to yeah, say, okay. is this his porn stash? I'm quite embarrassed to show you these, but I've collected every single Nintendo Power. <laughs> This guy's horrible! Yeah. Jesus. This guy's horrible! This redemption arc better be like... This, this, this is the most mean-spirited main character ever. Forces himself on this lady. Oh, God. Um, says that this kid should fucking die. Is a dick to the mom. Is it still image? <laughs> yeah. Like, at first oh, it was kind of oh, cute. No! But... Oh, no! Oh, no! That looks really bad. Lorenzo is dying on oh, the inside. No. Oh my god, that oh looks like fucking. God. That looks like Paw Patrol or something. Oh that doesn't look no. good. Next thing you know, the but the train will have a face in the front and be like, "Hi, yeah, guys." Yeah. There's no boner. He's a fucking psychopath. Yeah, only psychopaths hold their chicken like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that from now on. I'll put hot food in my mouth. <laughs> you gonna pog? You gonna pog when you eat hot food? Poggers! Oh, that dad's so nice. Aw, good guy dad. 
Honestly, I like these. I like this scene the this, most. This this is the <laughs> best everything. scene in the entire movie so far. I like this a lot. It's it's literally like the friend scenes, except you actually get like context with the story. Yeah, yeah. There there's with an like, already established character, and it's also not drawn out. You could honest. It, it, you could honestly just remove that whole scene with that one friend and just put this scene in and it wouldn't make that big of a difference. I mean, the scene with the yeah. friend was almost more like a pleasant, uh, what is it? Like, 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 yeah, pleasant break from the story, whereas this is actually propelling him into a better character, which I like. Wait, how far are we into this, Julius? I saw, I saw you take a peeky. There is 30 minutes left and we are no closer to nearing an actual story. I, I at least want him to like kind of fix everything with his mom that's like the yeah. thing i really care the most about at this point <laughs> i kind of like the, the the soundtrack part to this yeah i mean i mean this is actually past, like the best part past that the rock scene ever. uh the music's been all right and i mean this is easily the best song <laughs> this is definitely the best song Ooh, got the bass vocals that's actually a good song so far yeah so far the best thing about this movie is the song. Honestly, is that one song? <laughs> Inca Cockbot. Ah, Julius, COVID time. COVID time. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly don't think we got it from you. Got it? From no, Bangkok no, I don't think so. It, it would just be funny to like, think that Julius got like feel, a I weird like piece of salmon. Is it for my sake? What is that supposed to mean? That no, is it for sense. my sake? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You know, I fucking hate this kid. This kid sucks. Yeah, the main character is a kind of a dick. Like, the entire family is doing so much for this kid. Uh, and the kid meets this one one, one f new friend. And he just disregards everything his parents and brother did for him. This is the aesthetic that I wanted. The food the credits start. The credits start rolling. <laughs> the credits start rolling as the Bangkok hot pot is, like, presented. Damn, I'm kind of craving some hot pot now. <laughs> hot pot's so good, I miss it. We'll go again once everything's like completely clear. Oh yeah, no, I agree with you. All right, drum roll. I knew it. I fucking. Oh, oh I you knew it. You fucking knew told it. you. Fucking told you. Got Easy. Him. Oh, yep. see? Yup, 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 exactly. <laughs> fucking called it. I called it. I called it what? so hard. What? I called it so hard. I read this movie like a fucking book. Holy shit. That was the most cliche way to do it. I knew it. I knew that, it. Oh, God. That is so, oh my God. Oh, yeah. this is like the, the real experience that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right this is, this is the, this is oh the Oh my one. god, so, he, he saw both his mom and his crush go into the same hotel. Damn, what a, what a packed hotel, <laughs> eh? Packed hotel. Yeah, business. Business is, uh, business is popping for that hotel. <laughs> this is booming. I guess uh, I guess Kim Jong Un passed that test when he was uh, when he had that <laughs> surgery. Yes, so too. Yeah. One might say your life was colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if he got reincarnated. And he just went back to being a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's like funny. just a total asshole. <laughs> okay, that's a weird way to end off this. No, it's not that bad. I don't know. You wouldn't all of a sudden wake up on the top of a high school, or junior high school, not realizing why you're up there in the first place, and then getting a message saying from from someone random with the with the initial P, saying, "Hey, are you alive?" Dude, he straight up came back from fucking life. Shut the <laughs> fuck up! It's a yeah, movie. Like, Who cares? Oh, it was weird. <laughs> Okay. okay, no, I get it. All right. Okay, okay, so honestly, I didn't I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was alright. So I thought it was alright. It was my my thoughts it was on okay. that. Yeah, my thoughts on that are 
I didn't l I didn't like it, but I liked a lot of parts about it. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's not an awful movie like Time Masters was. It's like okay, I, yeah. It's I feel it's like if you're got some if you're, really good moments. Yeah, I feel like if you forget the uh, yeah if you forget the first half, or just kind of vividly remember the first half, and then you watch the second half, it's 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 just a better movie. Yeah, I'd say because I still feel like everything he did. <laughs> In the first half is like, it doesn't really, uh, you know. Yeah. What he did in the second half didn't really. It didn't correlate <sighs> well. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think that, like, if you were to take the last half of the movie out of context and had a better beginning, like, I think there could have been some value to this whole story. But I, I think there's just way too many problems with the, the first half, which I think is actually really bad. Like, I think there's the so first many half was awful. awful scenes, so many awful music choices. That rock music that plays is only there for, like, that, that the 20 first half. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the first half. It's so weird. It's like, it's like the rock music ends the first half, and then the second half you actually get some nice. Like, we actually got a good song near the end, which was nice. Um, Julius, what are your what are your thoughts on this bad boy? Um, I mean, yeah, I, I didn't mind it. There are a lot of, like, cool scenes. My my favorite scene being like when he was like spending time with his dad. That's yeah, that was easily yeah. the best. Scene. That was easily, easily the best scene, and like that was the scene I was most interested in because of like the subtle sound effects for some reason, and how like I know you 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 picked up on like things that I would have never heard. Like yeah, that was so nuts. You're like, like, oh, I love the way the car door sounds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But strangely enough, like <laughs> the fact that they they made the sounds of like the car closing and like them muff like ruffling around uh, their clothes they made it like super um, realistic so that's like something i really liked about. yeah i uh i i liked yeah there's a lot of things i liked about this i mean i like the dad's character i like the dude's friend which i can't remember his name for the life of me um there are scenes even even in even in the first half there's like maybe one or two scenes that i think are you know salvageable but um, I th actually, my one of my biggest issues with this entire movie is the pacing of it. Like, even if you take the first half out of consideration, the last half is still not paced very well. Yeah. No, it's paced better, but not. It, very it's well. yeah, it's just slightly better than the first half. But because the first half, they fill it with so much like needless, not even exposition, just like you know, knowledge dumping that it's like, it's no point. That stuff never gets brought up again. And it's just like, oh, okay. And then it's just a bunch of these little moments that happen with this terrible, terrible main character. And it's like, well, fuck, this is, yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> but I mean, eventually it gets better. I still don't think that main character's redemption arc feels justified. Every single scene that he's trying to make up for his actions feels extraordinarily forced. <clears throat> I feel like, what what was super force is the fact that after the scene with the dad he all of a sudden had like a huge change of heart even though like i feel like with the way he was acting before that type right. of change should not like happen that fast i felt like it should have been more than just that i mean with the with the friend with the friend that he got and like him like talking with his dad i guess but, you think the friend would be that moment, right? Like, yeah. the fact that they had it, it's like... Yeah, yeah but then I, at the same time, like, it, it, the friend scene and, like, him just, like, going around the city looking at, like, uh, monuments or whatever, or, like, the train or whatever, it, it just didn't seem so impactful and kind of just there. And, like, yeah, I, like, I know what you mean. There are so many scenes in this movie that feel like they would be good in something else, but because they don't they did that they at least don't fit in the context of it it just yeah i'm not a fan of yeah i mean especially the pacing but i don't know lorenzo what are your thoughts on that a quarter of the movie was him hanging out with his friend for a single day yeah and then the rest of it was uh for some reason six months passing by <laughs> that is so, so weird uh, the time passage part yeah. is actually the weirdest thing because like the first half of the movie happens in like a week, which is, I mean, it's fine starting off in a movie, you know, you want things to go slower and then you eventually build up, but it's not an eventual build up. It's like, there's, there's like the first half where it's all in like a span of three days. And then the last half, which is like the other six months. 
guys. With the scenes, like, okay, so there's like the three issues he needed to resolve, which is like his mom, um, the the sugar sugar daddy girl, and mm -hmm. then yeah. uh, and then like the weird girl. And like I right. felt like all those three could have been handled way better to make the movie more interesting. But like just oh, the, yeah. the the yeah. fact that towards the second half, they just kinda like forced it. Made it made it kinda like not in the last it. 15 minutes yeah and then, then like in the last 15 minutes it just didn't really seem like that good they they yeah it's like i mean specifically with those three if we're talking about the sugar daddy chick like that whole moment like she leaves and then she's not th there's nothing to her character afterwards like between that period of time with the redemption it's the same thing with the girl he sexually assaulted all of a sudden she just like was about to ruin his photo or like his art and then like she just started to reconcile yeah and I, yeah that was like you couldn't like pace it better just like change stuff up so that it would flow better but like it just yeah. happened so abruptly yeah yeah so yeah so i i guess if i'm really thinking about yeah. it i actually dislike the ending but i think that like the second half up until like the last 10 minutes is like of quality because i think those last 10 minutes yeah. the way they like um, the, what is it? The way they leave everything up until the end to be resolved, it feels forced. It doesn't feel natural in any sense of the word. And it feels like these characters could have just been cut out. Or at least if, All right. if, if you're not even going to develop them properly. Yeah. Alright, regarding the ending, I will say this. I do think if they ended it any other way, any other way other than the way they ended it, it would have made the movie worse. Oh, it oh made, you mean, you mean with your prediction? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, with my prediction, sure. Just like, yeah, like that aspect of it. Like, if they, if he was just a random dude in this kid's body, yeah, everything in the movie would have make no sense whatsoever. You're, you're right. Yeah, it, it, it would have been weird. And if if they were right? gonna do it that way, they should have like, you know, they would have handled it much differently. You know what I mean? Like this kid would yeah, have left yeah. his family and like gone on an adventure or something. Yeah. Yeah, the more I think about it, it's like, although I like moments in the second half, it's like they actually waste so much goddamn time. Like, if they were gonna have, like, a decent redemption arc where, like, he he had that moment with his dad and his friend and then started, they, like, he needed to have those forgiving moments, like, in between that segment. And, like, sure, that could have led to, like, a really bad, like, I hate this arc in movies, where it's like everything's starting to get better and he's starting to get friends and then one moment happens and all of his friends leave for like five minutes because he did some terrible thing and then they come back later in the movie. I'm glad they didn't do that with what they did, but I don't know how they even would have done that because it's paced so bad. <laughs> I, I, think like, that, yeah, I, much. I think that if they were to pace it better and like cut some scenes out where it like didn't really make sense... It and didn't I, need to be two hours. I, I, I felt like it could have been, like, an hour movie, even. Yeah, it, it could have... You know what? This could have even been, like, a good short if you cut out a lot of the scenes. Like, if you focus mainly on the family dynamic of it all. Like, if they just focused on the family and it was about him, like, you know, coming back as a soul and, like, trying to... Uh, you know, like, meet condolences. Like, you have enough family tension. Like, his brother doesn't like him very much. Like, at least, you know, um, on a surface no, no, no. level. Yeah, his on a surface level, but, like, dad. deep inside, like, the... Right, right, that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of family stuff that could happen. And if it was mainly family structure, it could have been a really good, like, 15, 20-minute short film. But everything involving the school and the kids in the school, it doesn't feel completed or, like, deserved at all. I guess, you. I guess, like... Um, I thought that because they're trying to incorporate too many people into his life and trying to make it a part of like the story, like there there are so many characters that don't correlate with others that make the movie even longer and like flow worse. If that makes That's sense. That's right. Yeah. So so like, kind of so kind of like the the friend that he made. It it only like correlates with him and his friend, not like the parents or whatnot, but like. Um, it, 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 it's kind of like just there, you know what I mean? Every, yeah, no, I totally agree. Every single interaction with, like, that this, the main character, uh, Kobayashi, has with, um, like, any other character, it's none of those side characters ever, like, interact or feel natural. It's like, it's literally just the main character reacting to these, like, secondary characters, and that's it, which makes the whole movie feel really weird. 
like it doesn't feel natural like i i don't relate or condone with any of these people they never have side interactions where they're talking about his awful deeds like it's totally from the perspective of our main character which i mean he's bit he was an asshole 75 percent of the movie yeah so it's it's I'd hard like, to have i'd say like 80 yeah 80 maybe, even, maybe 85 yeah. there's 20 yeah. percent where he's done he did some redeemable things and all the all those scenes felt forced yeah I feel like if you were to cut out um, both that awkward weird girl and like his uh, new friend, and just focus on like the the drama between like his crush and then his mom. Yeah, and, like, even the family. crush. Like I feel, I feel whole... like that would have been way better. I mean, besides the bad music, like they could have that scene where they're running in the rain, like that could have been a good scene in like a better movie. But the fact that it like it feels so out of place, it makes that scene really awesome. Especially with the rock, <laughs> with the rock. God, like, yeah. The oh, the music. We need to talk about that. Um, yeah, first half the music is really bad, especially during that raining scene where they play three rock songs. Oh, God. But but as as it goes along, the music gets progressively better, and we actually get a really good song uh, near the end. The choir song. I, I don't know what it's called. The choir song is the best awesome. one. Oh, yeah, it's I don't good. Think any of us I really want to download it after this movie or after this podcast. Yeah. No, I really liked it though. It was really good. Right. Like the song. The song. The movie's kind of okay. The movie's yeah. okay. <laughs> what are we What are we rating the vibe, y'all? What's the vibe of this? Uh. You know what? I'll start this one off. I, I I'll give it a six out of ten. Okay, so like three. Out I like of five like stars. I I still think I still think you can enjoy it as a movie. It's still like you, something you can like watch and like find some kind of enjoyment out of it. That's fair. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, but most of it was like, you know, eh. I wanna I wanna give this uh, a two out of five. Yeah, me. I agree with Julius. Yeah. I I think that there's a lot of issues I had with the movie, but for the most part, it's not it's not a bad movie. It just it just had a lot of issues that could have been held or like done better, and like yeah, overall it could have just been way better than what they made. It to be. I think there are yeah no I agree with you for the most part, but I would say that. Like, you, you mentioned that it's still a good movie. Like, I do not think it's a good movie. I think it's a, a bad movie with, like, redeemable moments in it. So, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd also agreed. give it a 2 out of 5 stars. I think that it's not good at, like, the scenes that are good aren't good enough to make this, like, to make me want to watch this ever again. Or to make me even see it in a positive light. But it's not bad enough where it's, like, I cringe the entire time. You know what I mean? Like... There were some... Terrible oh trust me oh trust me I there was that train scene oh that train transition is garbage <laughs> that train but transition just that's makes the you wanna that's the cringe dive. part for you yeah well, no, no, no. like the the only reason i bring that up is because that that transition from like the uh the, the oh yeah that was a like bad transition CG. i don't know it just sticks out to me because it's so terrible funny. but no there, you're right i was Lauren, talking so about was... like um i was talking yeah like Forcing yourself on a girl and like, well, yeah, okay. that, that that one too. Sex was, with was, minors, yeah. or uh, you know, I don't think they're a little worse than a no, no, transition no. scene. No, no, no. <laughs> like, I was gonna get to that in my discussion. Oh like, no, yeah, I don't think, worry. Yeah, I think that if the main character is more redeemable, I would be able to like get past some of the flaws and just enjoy it. Like with a silent voice, I think there's actually like not similar, but there's a lot of problems with that movie too, in my opinion. But the difference is that the main character's redemption seems earned and like, you know, it seems like yeah. he's actually a better person from it. This character is a piece of shit the entire time and that last 10 minutes yeah. feels unjustified. It's that yeah. character that turns this from like maybe a like maybe a two and a half stars to being just two stars. Like it's it's un it's unwatchable when he's on screen. Or at least when he's like, you know, taken center stage. Yeah. When it's like his friend or his dad, those scenes, great. The dinner table scene near the end before he opened his fucking mouth, great. It was <laughs> yeah. a great scene. Until until he opened his mouth and the fact that he was like, I don't wanna go to the school that you you put all your effort into like finding because I made a promise with a friend that I made. 
That, yeah. that scene kind of I mean, kind of pissed me off. Yeah, that was why. dumb. I didn't like that. It's I it's like, like there's a good movie in here somewhere. The premise is there. Like the actual times where there's action, there's development going on. It's not bad, but there's so much filler, and the main character is so fucking unredeemable as a person that like. I, I'm sorry. It just it it ruins pretty much the entire thing. Besides some key scenes. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I got to see that. But yeah, uh, yeah not not too great. Uh, uh, next episode we'll see you guys in is for the Attack on Titan episode five. Pog. Episode. Yeah, we we didn't get the that this week because cool apparently there was no episode. So yeah, the real cool episode. The real cool yeah, episode. yeah, yeah. It, it it's gonna be hype. Right. right, come on, come on, buddy. Next episode.